we begin tonight with a nine on your side special report. We're looking at the education system in North Carolina. It's become a widely talked about topic in the state as thousands of teachers plan to rally for respect tomorrow at the state capitol. Nine on your side's Brandon Truitt joins us. He's he began working on this report. Brandon, you actually had a chance to speak with a local teacher and take some of her concerns to lawmakers. You know, when you listen to these teachers over the past couple of weeks, you really get a sense of their frustration. So I wanted to take those concerns to leaders Wright and Raleigh. In a one on one sit down, we go to Governor Roy Cooper and listen to what he has to say about what is and is not working for our schools and the ways he plans to fix it. We sit down looking for insight and answers on North Carolina's state of education. The halls of West Craven High School bring a familiar tone yes, that is correct. for schools across North Carolina. This is where we find Mrs. Ye. We first met Ye last year. You might remember the recently married English teacher as Miss Smith. I love teaching. A graduate of ECU with a family full of educators, this classroom is home. That's where God has called me to be. But the love of her job is becoming outweighed by what she calls a crumbling education system in the state. It's disheartening um, because there are so many teachers doing wonderful things all the time, every day. Yay, describing a systematic failure. Classes with over 30 students, low per capita allotments, and elected leaders, Yay claims, are not listening. If you could talk to state lawmakers, what would you ask of them? I want them to listen to me and, and listen to what I want. I'm not just asking for higher pay. Higher pay is an issue and it's a huge issue. But the, but the real thing is, is that we're not getting enough funding for our students. We took Ye's concerns straight to Raleigh, presenting them to Governor Roy Cooper. Do you feel like Raleigh is listening to these teachers? I don't think that the legislature is, and I'm concerned about that. Governor Cooper is the son of a public school teacher. Living with a mom who was a public school teacher, you saw how passionate she was about her students. Do you ever sit back and think, am I doing enough? Oh yeah, we need to do more in education. Cooper releasing his proposed budget last week. It shows large investments in the education system. Aside from a proposed average pay raise of 8%, the budget would give teachers a stipend to help cover out-of-pocket expenses. Something Ye is familiar with. I'm lucky to have a very innovative classroom. However, I will say that I worked for every single thing that is in this classroom. Ye picking up a second job last summer to help fund half the cost of these new tables, along with hundreds of dollars spent each year on additional materials. And it's been an issue for years now that we've heard that teachers are investing more and more of their own money. Expo markers, pencils, paper when they run out of their quantity. Should they have to be buying no, these? They absolutely should not have to be buying their own school supplies. For Ye, it's now about getting results, regardless of party. It has become so divisive. divisive. As of now, it's just a blame game. It's almost like they don't want to do something because they don't want to seem too liberal or they don't want to seem too conservative. She said she was sick of it. She's tired of it. She just wants to see results. Is there hope at the state level that we can start to see some results for these teachers? I believe that we can, but public education should be bipartisan. And I know that there are a lot of Republicans who believe in public education. Ye is just one of the many teachers who say they are tired of waiting. Now, they're taking action. Thousands of teachers are expected in Raleigh Wednesday to rally for respect. I'm a huge advocate for my kids and my profession. I take great pride in my craft and what I do. I'm wondering what your message is to those teachers who are headed here Wednesday. I say that it is a shame that teachers have to take to the streets to rally for respect. Ye says at the center of it all, there are students and their futures, children deserving a better state of education. I just want the best for them and I want people to know what is best for them and listen to us and say, and finally say like, yes, we want our kids to be successful. So what do they need? Okay, let's give it, let's give it to them. It's that passion for change that Ye says will take her to Raleigh tomorrow. So how and when could these teachers see some changes? Governor Roy Cooper calls it an easy equation to solve. We're looking into that part of the story for you tonight at your News at 11. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thank you.